Today's video is going to be a brief introduction to the Finance Solver on the TI Inspire CAS calculator. So to access this Finance Solver, which is a great tool for solving problems related to business-related mathematics, we first go to Menu, and then we go to 8, Finance, and the very first one, the Finance Solver. This will open up a window that has a whole series of menus or a whole series of boxes to fill in. N, now N represents the number of payments that are being made. For this example, let's just say it's 10. The interest rate, and this is important here, the interest rate is always, always, always going to be given uh, as a percentage per annum or per year. So we are not adjusting it for the time period. Let's say our interest rate is 4% per year. PV, that is the present value of the loan. In the formulas that we've seen, uh, PV is equivalent to P. So it's the value that the loan is essentially at the start. And with PV, you have to be very careful. PV could be positive or it could be negative. The difference between this is to think about where the money is going. If you have put money into an account you no longer have direct access to the money. It has left your hand, thus PV will be negative. However, if you are receiving a loan, if someone is giving you money, the money will get put into your hand and you can now spend it. In that case, PV will be positive. For our case, let's assume you're putting money into an account. So B PV is negative, let's say, 1,000. The next one, PMT, and you can just scroll through these different menus uh, with the tab button, and it just goes all the way through. Uh, to go backwards, you can do shift tab, and that will go back the other direction. So PMT, PMT is the amount if we're dealing with an annuity or a reducing balance loan. How much are you paying in or receiving on a regular basis? The rules for positive or negative are the same for this as they are for PV. So I'm going to assume that I'm trying to build up an annuity and I'm depositing, let's say, $100 a month or a week, whatever it is. The next one is FV, future value. So the future value is what the value in the account will be after all of our payments. So after N payments and N periods, uh, what will happen? So the future value, in this case here, let's say that that's what we want to find. So I'm just going to leave that blank. I'm not going to touch that just yet. The next one that I have is PPY which, as you can see at the bottom, is payments per year. So how many times is the interest being, or how many payments, pardon me, are you making per year? Let's assume here that we're making our monthly payment of $100 once a month. That means there will be 12 payments per year. With this, uh, we can also assume, um, and the, the program will often assume for us, that the number of payments per year will be equal to that next value, which is the number of compounding periods per year. It automatically adjusts it so that PPY and CPY are the same, and that's how we're going to leave it for all of our examples. We can assume the payment is the same, or is made at the end of the period. Now we go back to FV, and as it says at the bottom, Press enter to calculate. FV is now positive because $2,048.97 can be withdrawn and that money would now be in our hand available to spend after 10 payments of $100 with this initial amount and this interest rate compounded on a monthly basis. One other neat trick here is you can see down at the bottom that the finance solver info is stored. 
This means that if we've got some of these numbers that we want to do other calculations with, it's very easy to do so. Let's say I want to do something with this future value. I'm going to escape to get out of the finance solver. So escape just up in the top left hand corner. And now I'm going to start typing TVM. TVM is the name of the solver. And as soon as I press TVM dot, you'll notice that a list of variables comes up. We've got CPY, FVIN, PMT, PMT at, PPY, and PV. All of those represent the same values of the variables that we used in the program. So I'm going to test what PMT is. I just go to PMT, press enter, and PMT, as we should expect, is negative 100. Let's do another one. The future value, tvm.fv, enter. It's bolded, which means that we've defined this variable. Press enter, $2,048.97. So that has been an introduction to the finance solver uh, program on the TI Inspire CAS calculator.